What's going on everybody? Today we're gonna get a little crazy. <laughs> um, I have a commission piece from a client and uh, we're gonna try and turn this. <laughs> this is a 19 and a half inch platter uh, that a client commissioned um, that I'm pretty nervous to turn because it is going to max out my lathe over here. Um, but I thought it would be fun to show you guys that process. So sorry you missed out on me making this thing, but we're all here for the turning, let's be real. So let's get to it. Okay, so not only was this thing large, it was fairly heavy too. It weighed about 10 pounds when I was done turning it. So let's round up to like 11 pounds. So I was a little bit afraid that this thing was gonna walk or like run my lathe all over the shop. And it turns out that there were no immediate problems. So let's get into why I'm making this dish. A client reached out to me wanting something that could be the centerpiece of their waiting room in their new office that they're opening. So of course, they contacted me. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, there's probably a ton of other makers out there who could do this better than me, but he's my cousin, and so therefore, you know, he has to pick me. Anyways. Uh, this thing is going to be a two-part project uh, that I'm collaborating with an epoxy artist on because my cousin wants the base of this to look like the ocean. I foolishly told him yes I could do it with the thoughts that I would learn how to do it in the month's time that it needed to be done. I quickly realized I would not be able to learn how to do it, so I'm sending this piece off to a professional epoxy artist, and she's going to do it for me. The trick to this is that I wanted the base to be as flat as possible, so that way the artist can have a good reference surface to do the work. The problem was that when I mounted this thing to the mounting block, it didn't lay flat. So when I turned it, it turned unevenly, and one side was thicker than the other. And you could definitely see it in the segmented part of this dish. So I had to take it over to the dish sander and basically start sanding on one side of the dish until it met the other side of the dish and everything came out nice and level and was the same size all around. Does that make sense? Yeah. Does that make sense? No, that doesn't make any sense. Eh. Anyways, through some trial and error, I got it figured out, and this thing looks great. So I wasn't able to round it over on the lathe like I usually would because I figured out that everything was ski wampus on there. So I just took this thing over to the router with a small round over bit and I rounded over the outside and then I attempted to round over the inside of the lathe but my router bit was too tall and it dug into oh, the base no. of my project. No. But, no worries, I knew that the base was going to get covered in epoxy anyway, so you probably wouldn't see any of the flaws. I threw a chamfer on the bottom of this thing, and it's pretty much ready to go. Well, that'll do it. This thing was um, definitely a challenge to turn. The point of this video was just to show you guys the max capacity of the Harbor Freight lathe, 19 and a half inches. I could probably go bigger, um, but if this was a bowl, I don't think it'd be possible it, because the extension arm, it just doesn't, it doesn't go, it wouldn't be able to reach around and you wouldn't be able to actually get in there. I measured and basically the extension arm would basically reach 
maybe like like not definitely not even halfway like half of halfway so a quarter of the way I guess thanks for watching guys I know this was a quick video but it was just something to show you guys and I haven't filmed anything in a little while so I figured I'd throw this out there if you guys have not make sure you subscribe like the video and hit the notification bell I'm doing a lot more lives here on YouTube so make sure that you hit the notification bell so you can be notified when I go live be good, be safe, be happy, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace!